critical information infrastructure along with our power utilities, our dams, yeah. then we should exercise oversight powers over them. Because this, uh, this uh, issue was already uh, tackled in the Senate and in the House of Representatives in the uh, Committee on Transportation, wherein uh, our national grid uh, being uh, controlled and operated by the Chinese uh, uh, operators. Ngayon lang natin realize that uh, completely we are uh, being uh, play around. No? Kasi andyan eh, andyan na yung mga infrastructure eh, created na eh. So how can you remove those uh, uh, expensive na mga infrastructures? Actually, in our view, um, but I understand that this could be, uh, again, consensus building and some, some thoughts on whether disparate and distributed systems are more secure than centralized systems. First, hindi po namin sinasuggest lahat. Hindi, only a select few like common data, pangalan, national ID, yung mga ganon. Second po, I think right now, uh, there is a brewing consensus na at least for this particular part, the ICT is more technically capable of defending that particular data than it lying around in some other storage na hindi naman po nila specialty and expertise yung uh, data security and cyber security. So at, at, at the very least, um, we're not saying it would not be hacked because like even, even, even national governments of other countries more advanced than ours are being attacked every day. Um, but at least I think at this particular moment today, I think we are more than capable or we are at, at the agency that uh, your honor can lean on to defend those data, at least for now. Yes, next we'd like to recognize Congressman Romy Ak. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, do we have any national cyber defense plan? Because as I, as I see from your briefing, Yusek, reactive tayo eh. And we do not even react properly dahil we do not know where these hacks uh, are coming from. So, paano natin iproprosecute kung hindi po natin malaman kung saan nanggagaling itong uh, hacks na ito? Uh, if I may answer, Your Honor. Sir, we have a national cybersecurity plan. Uh, there was an executive order 58. I think, if, but, but I don't know if just a play of words, Your Honor, but, but there is also a national defense plan, which I, which is, uh, cybersecurity is also mentioned there, no? But, I, 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 I don't know if that's what you're referring to, Your Honor. <laughs> that's the problem. Kasi kung kayo mismo na nag-implement uh, nito, ay marami, hindi nagkakaisa, may problema tayo. Because we should only have one national cyber defense plan to be implemented by government. Otherwise, uh, shotgun approach tayo. Di po ba? As it is, uh, reactive po tayo eh. Kaya dapat, meron po tayong plano. Now, can I ask questions about submarine fiber optics from the ICT? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, how many fiber optics or submarine fiber optics run through our country? Run through our... Underwater. Sir, we have 11 uh, cable landing stations. There are plans for 14. But let me check the number of cables running for. Uh, I just don't have that information right now. But now, I can, how many I can provide of these fiber, submarine fiber optics are controlled by our country? when they pass through Poro Point and Baler of Quezon? Uh, Your Honor, all the late cable landing stations are controlled by our, by are our you country. Are sure? they, they submit, they, yes sir, they apply for permits. Uh, so if that is the case, then we would know where the hackers are. I say, ang problema natin, we do not know which country they, they're coming from, ano yung organization, at saka yung mga tao na nga gumagawa nito. Your Honor, with due respect to that, uh, we actually have a list of uh, uh, interested uh, person, person, persons of interest which we share among the executive department and which we are more than happy to divulge in executive session. It was not included in my report because... That's why I, I asked you, can I ask questions about submarine fiber optics? Right. Diba, no ko muna, can I ask? Kasi kung hindi, hindi nyo may de-devolve sa amin, I will not ask those questions. Di po ba? 
Eh, sinabi niyo, pwede eh. It's very clear. Do you like uh, the one to read the minutes? I apologize. Yes. Kasi for your information, galing ako sa military at police service eh. So I know when I would ask questions within your jurisdiction at kung po pwede o hindi. Kasi may need to know basis tayo, di po ba? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Hindi na po ako magpapatuloy. Mr. Chair, in addition... No, uh, um, uh, but uh, there, you're willing to divulge in executive session, right? Um, Congressman Akap, um, pwede ba ipunin muna natin yung lahat ng executive session tapos iba, isang executive session lang tayo just in, in case of going back and forth? So they will join the executive session, NBI will join also the executive session. Is it okay? I am ready. In a correction, yes. Mr. Chair, if I may, uh, just yes, a bit, please, just a bit. Uh, Congressman Some Fernandez. Some uh, question lang. In relation to what the uh, good Congressman Ako was uh, uh, asking, you know, uh, he asked about the 11 uh, submarine uh, fiber, optic. fiber optic, you know, and you mentioned that it was 11, and you said that uh, it was controlled by us. Who owns it? Us? Mostly by private consortiums, uh, Your Honor. Filipinos? Um, they, when they enter, Your Honor, they have to have a partnership agreement with a Filipino. So it's either Globe, PLDT, or some other so cable operators. those 11 uh, companies uh, will have Filipino counterpart. counterparts. Yes, and mostly are... Well... What company? Uh, from, mostly from? are PLDT, Your Honor. Uh, is, consortium, uh, there is also a consortium with Converge and Globe. Yeah, and who is connected with the... Uh, foreign country for sure that's correct so do you have the liberty to tell us uh, uh, yes your honor these are public uh, information I just don't have the list right now but I can uh, provide the uh, a report on the uh, ownership or the consortium that built the uh, the current 11 uh, cable landing stations in our country because uh, mr. chairman that's the problem with uh, with our setup eh. uh, right now um, we are being infiltrated by uh, a foreign uh, nationals even in our national grid we all know that the national grid is being controlled by the uh, Chinese people so the reason why I ask it is because, because most likely that 11 uh, submarine cable is also being controlled by those people who are connected the country just beside us so we have to find out the uh, different members of that corporations the SEC registration everything to find the link so, kasi medyo critical yung submarine optic na yan, eh, that passing through our country. Eh. Uh, if you will notice that 11 uh, submarine cable, yan ang nagbubukas papunta sa west. Eh. And then, to the east as well. Uh, it's passed through our country. And that's very critical. And that's the reason why we're being hacked so many times. As a matter of fact, if you're going to uh, see all your detections, 811, bumadaan sa atin eh. If you're going to notice, eh, under and upper, control tayo sa ilalim. Pagdating naman sa national grid, nakokontrol din tayo. We are already investigating the uh, involvement of the uh, Chinese uh, nationals in the uh, national grid. <laughs> Nobody listens. Eh. Uh, but I hope that uh, we will be taking seriously about this uh, infiltration of those uh, uh, Chinese national, na nationals who are really infiltrating the different corporations. It is a creeping invasion of our country on a different aspect. Not only on our fiber optics, not only on the different um, grid, but also on the trying to uh, own different properties in this country. We are investigating that under the uh, leadership of Congressman Paduano. So even those uh, Philippine Coast Guard it has been uh, in the news and um, it was uh, mentioned by Congressman Ace Basip Barbers. Members of the, Congress, of the uh, Coast Guards are, are volunteers, members of uh, the Chinese elites. So uh, I think uh, we really need to have an uh, executive session, Mr. Chairman, because um, uh, we can see the, uh, the pattern of uh, trying to uh, scatter on different uh, cluster and, you know, Probably you know, eh, surrounded na tayo by all the enemies. So, uh, tama yung sinasabi na, na we have to have a comprehensive defense uh, cyber plan. Uh, kung magiging reactionary lamang tayo, talo na tayo. 
We have to put a, 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 a lot of budget on the defense. Yun lang po, Mr. Chairman. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Congressman Dan Fernandez. Yes, uh, Congressman Akop, before you proceed, I would like to recognize um, Congressman Benny Abante, our chairperson of the Committee on Human Rights, and I would uh, um, ask him if he would like to deliver his sponsorship speech for the bill. Yeah, I just have to uh, give way to uh, the other sponsors. In a way, it's almost the same. Okay, thank you, Congressman Abante. Yes, Congressman Akop, you may proceed. May I ask uh, the ICT that uh, they should tell me if uh, the question that I will be asking will not be answered by them because of national security issue. Ano po? Uh, you're aware of uh, Republic Act 10844. which mandated the Department of Information and Communications Technology, or the GICT, to formulate and implement the National Cyber Security Plan. In other words, there should only be one National Security Plan, because you are mandated by law to come up with that. Before, it was uh, a five-year, I think, 2017 to 2022. Now, the plan is from 2023 to 2028. Di and the ICT is supposed to be the implementer of this plan. Would that be correct? Yes, Your Honor. And this was already issued through Executive Order 58. We, yes. we already had that plan. Yes. And uh, the uh, operational arm of this is the CICC. Uh, yes. uh, Can you please uh, identify yourself? And yeah, um, <clears throat> Francis Domingo from University of the Philippines. So um, I've been studying strategies, our strategies since 2010. So maybe I, share ng, maybe I can share something that is not sensitive because I'm an academic. Yes, please. So just to make sense of um, what we've discussed since Feb 6, no? I was supposed to be here Feb 6, I couldn't make it. I was listening to all concerns. No? Um, so sama po yung sinabi ni Vice Chair Almario, it's a global trend, what we're experiencing is nothing new, but how we respond to it, I think we, we need to um, pinpoint, you know, first, ano po yung sources ng, ng attacks. If it's a domestic criminal, so we have mechanisms for that, yung sinatanong po ni Congressman Akop yung po yun. If it's foreign, it's a different path that we need to take. Because we cannot, we cannot just um, um, prosecute. So we have treaties, we have norms. No? So yung tinatanong po ni Congressman Fernandez at Akop, no? that's, that's, that's the concern now. Compromise, human beings, not really technology. So in terms of strategy, if you tingnan nyo po yung dalawang strategy, yung dati po, 2017 and this one, this is a step, I would argue, a step in, in the right direction. It's small steps, but it is because number one, you are more inclusive. You have DND, DFA, these are the front line in the ITC when you have external attacks. No? Um, NBI already mentioned that the sources were external. If it's, again, no, sorry to say China, we can only ask the Chinese embassy or the Chinese government. We cannot we cannot prosecute immediately. We have, uh, they're a signatory, I think, to the uh, Budapest Convention, so cybercrime. Um, so the, the challenge is strategies take time to implement. We are under attack. So we need to, I understand that, that the urgency, but we need to also understand strategies take time. So maybe aspects of the strategy is, are working, uh, particularly the coordination aspect Yun po yung wala dati. Mayroon, mahirap pong uh, confirm yung, yung coordination. No? But they have a proposal here. Embassies have been asking. I briefed at least a few embassies about the Cyber Fusion Center, which they think is uh, promising. So that's, you know, from a third party, um, less national security sensitive standpoint, I think there is some small steps towards progress. Thank you. Yes, Congressman Ahop. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, 
hindi ba ang operating arm ninyo uh, in so far as the GICT vis-a-vis -vis, uh, cyber uh, security is uh, your CICC or the uh, Cyber Crime Investigation and Coordinating Center? Sir, the answer, sir, is no, but if I may be allowed to qualify. Uh, that's provided for by Republic Act 10175 or the Cyber Crime Prevention Act. Which was amended, Your Honor, under Section 5 or 6 of 10448, okay. when the National Computer Emergency Response Team and the, yes. and the development of the National Cyber Security Plan was transferred to the DICT. Agree. Now, now I understand that the uh, cybercrime law of 2012 was actually tackling cybercrime, but actually in the United Nations, there is now a differentiation between cybersecurity and cybercrime. Um, in more basic terms, we are more interested, the National Computer Emergency Response Team, which is under the ICT, we are more interested in prevention, in response, in creating that defensive mechanism um, and that, that enabling environment for other agencies so that they can defend themselves in cyberspace. While cybercrime is more about prosecution, trying to build the case, etc. Because uh, not one agency circus is would, would be able to handle both. And so we're, we're copying the same model uh, espoused by the United Nations now in the past three years, uh, also by the United States, Makewale FBI functions, CISA functions, etc. Your Honor. So CICC, so therefore, as part of my qualification, Your Honor, and also as provided for by law, the cybersecurity part, which is the response, the, the defense, and the, and the promulgation and the passing of the Cybersecurity Act, uh, sorry, the Cybersecurity um, uh, plan is with the DICT, but of course the ICC is the coordinating arm for all government agencies for cybercrime. Thank you. Uh, would you agree with me that uh, for the first quarter in 2024, the cyber attacks are in rose by 325 percent? It increased, Your Honor. I just can't confirm the 325 percent, but yes, it increased uh, approximately. Uh, and uh, uh, one research groups would say that the 325 percent uh, number of cyber attacks, the increase, is uh, because of the tension over the country's ter territorial dispute with. China over the West Philippine Sea. Would you agree with that? Your, your Honor, may, may I be excused from answering that question? <laughs> Maybe it would be... Uh, I do not have that correlation as a data on my table, Your Honor. Thank you. I uh, will not pursue the issue, uh, you say. Uh, do you have also a determination of the uh, estimated amount which would cost the world in so far as cyber security uh, events are concerned? There are conflicting reports, Your Honor. The World Economic Forum actually gave a, a recent report, 2023 December, uh, NASA 2 trillion US dollars yet, uh, but they're only quoting cyber crime, which includes uh, ransomware, etc. Hindi pa kasama yung reputational damage, Your Honor. Only quoting from the World Economic Forum. Cyber security ventures state that it would cost the world in 2024 alone 9.5 trillion US dollars. Yun po yung mangyayari sa atin eh, because of this uh, phenomenon. Iba. And uh, kagaya na sabi ko, uh, our cyber intelligence uh, has revealed that in January alone, 2024, 43 cyber incidents or compromise involving government agencies occurred. Uh, multiple compromises in government offices, sampu sa DepEd, apat sa DILG, apat sa PNP, at apat sa Department of Agriculture. Could you confirm that? No, Your Honor. That doesn't seem to jive with our um, data. But let me... 10 from the... I, I don't think your, so, uh, your honor, baka mag, uh, kaiba lang po ng appreciation of facts because sometimes marami po nagkiklaim na nahak nila pero actually they were just recompiling old uh, database, databases of old compromises 
And in our definition, at least in the National Computer Emergency Response Team's definition, we don't count that as an active hack. Marami pong ganon, and we can also share some information. In fact, uh, we have two instances just this March who claimed that they attacked again PSA, but it was not true. Uh, and also another one who said they also again attacked uh, the OST uh, after the initial attack, which again was not true. Ang ginagawa po nila, kinukuha po nila yung uh, lumang databases. Tas, tapos pinopost po nila claiming na, oh, ito yung database, ha, we hacked it. So maybe that's the discrepancy, Your Honor. But but let me check po, and we can be more. We'll be more than happy to give you a report of our statistics, Your Honor. Now, uh, uh, having with having been work with uh, this uh, shop in the C the, uh, the ICT, you have seen yung ano po yung kulang sa ating bansa, di po ba? And do you have uh, recommendations for us to move forward? Do you have? Yes, Your Honor. The National Cybersecurity Plan under EO 58 uh, implements doable, concrete steps in order to move forward. And we would be more than happy that it's not only technology, but also a lot of trainings required to produce more cybersecurity professionals, not only in the public sector, but also in the private sector. And of course, a critical piece of legislation, the Cybersecurity Act, because right now there is no mandatory reporting mechanism for cybersecurity incidents. And so our intelligence network, etc., including that of the of, of all government agencies, rely either on voluntary mechanisms or in detection of already uh, leaked uh, data, uh, databases or breaches in the dark web. So, so, so among other things, Your Honor. So, uh, don't you think there's a need for a cyber security law? Yes. So, you you see the need for a cybersecurity law? Yes, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, thank you, Congressman Ajo. Yes, yes, Congressman. I, 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 I just wanted to be clarified to you, second, because a while ago, parang, uh, parang na mention mo that the yung sa submarine uh, fiber optic is uh, also controlled by the government. Is it controlled by the government? <laughs> Sir, uh, thank you for, uh, for uh, asking me to qualify that So, number one, sir, the exercise of control over permits. Permits. Yeah. So, operation. Operational control. Thank you, Pa. Medyo na ano ako eh, medyo, yes. ne, parang nirecall ko yung sagot mo. Parang, yes, sandali muna, kung control natin, bakit tayo nahahak ah. pa rin? Wait, kasi, uh, well, wait, okay. At the 11 submarine uh, fiber optics that are uh, deeply rooted on the uh, ocean, no? um, this was const constructed by the private companies. Am I right? That is correct, Your Honor. So Usually, this, malalaking consortiums, yeah. hindi lang isa, sobrang mahal po kasi ng investment required. Yeah, in accordance with uh, what I've learned, no? uh, andyan yung mga companies ng PLDT, Smart, Globe, Convergence, Huawei, Converge, uh, China Telecom, so, in other words, um, those fiber optics, submarine fiber optics that is uh, passing by through our ocean, no, are uh, are uh, being uh, managed and controlled by a foreign entity, and thereby, yung possibility of uh, and probability of uh, being hacked so easily will not be, you know, will not be uh, what do you call this uh, set aside. Yes, Your Honor. They are managed operationally uh, by by these consortiums. Some yes. con and and let me just clarify, Your Honor. And again, thank you very much. This is why we need the Cyber Security Act. Because if we classify them as critical information infrastructure, along with our power utilities, our dams, yeah. then we should exercise oversight powers over them. Because this uh, this uh, issue was already uh, tackled in the Senate and in the House of Representatives in the uh, Committee on Transportation, wherein uh, our national grid uh, being uh, controlled and operated by the Chinese uh, uh, operators. Uh, because yung national grid natin, yung kuryente natin, eh, uh, nagtatraffic tayo ng kuryente, eh, and this is being controlled by the majority of the owner of the NGCP. And uh, 
yung ating pong government um, since this is a, a critical uh, infrastructure we have to have a control over this and unfortunately uh, sa mismong grid natin hindi natin siya uh, control and isang ano lang yon isang grid lang yon na na, 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 na na nakikita natin we are talking about 11 submarine uh, uh, fiber uh, uh, optic and that's the reason why siguro dumami yung mga um, mga incidents of um, of hacking of uh, government uh, uh, institution uh, so thereby uh, probably we can conclude that indeed ito yung naging uh, reason for increasing the amount of uh, hacking in this uh, country can you somehow agree with that um First, sir, let me, um, Your Honor, let me qualify that of the 11, hindi naman po lahat may Chinese companies sa consortium. Um, for example, Meta, wala siyang, wala siyang uh, Chinese consortium. But there are some. Um, with regard to telecommunications infrastructures, I would agree that if we do not exercise oversight, then it is possible because these are very large highways. Eh. Yeah. that extend to international waters. And in fact, repair of this is also covered by international law. So I would say, sir, but, uh, but we don't have data yet, no? but I would say, sir, that yes, critical uh, control of the critical information systems, including that, is vital to defending our, our uh, cyberspace. Um, let me also add, Your Honor, that uh, the conflict in the West Philippine Sea has also made repairs in that area or um, ano na sir um, 130 days above the world average because of the conflicts uh, well because of the issues sorry not conflict, the issues in the west philippine sea um, our neighboring countries are requiring permits even if they are international flag carriers for repair of um, submarine cables mm. require permit from them So yes, Your Honor, so, I would agree wholeheartedly that this is really an so issue said, that we uh, have to... Yung 11 uh, submarine uh, fiber optic na yan, it was constructed for how many years? Multiple years. Uh, th I, I, I don't have that information, Your Honor. When I was still... I'm sorry. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the, I was uh, still in the private sector. There were three. We used by the BPO, and now there's 11. In the next four years, we will have 17. Four. Six more are coming. Because uh, I think that they have started in the, in the long process, no? Kasi yung, kahit na yung sa national bid natin, they started in 2010, eh. So it's a long preparation that now, ngayon lang natin nare-realize that uh, completely we are uh, being uh, play around, no? Kasi andyan na eh, nandyan na yung mga infrastructure, eh. Created na eh. So, how can you remove those uh, uh, expensive na mga infrastructures? And uh, we're having a hard time because, um, unfortunately, uh, we have given them uh, uh, franchises as well. And uh, we have uh, given the consortium. So, they are all legal. And under the Constitution, yung pagiging part nila sa corporation is also being uh, allowed by this uh, government. So, ang dami po talagang problema, uh, Mr. Chair, no? Uh, so, anyway, uh, probably, Mr. Chair, we can proceed with the, ano?